Hey guys, Katie here. How's it going? I have not done an on my shelf video in a long time, so I thought now was the perfect time to take a look at some of the books on my shelf. And even though I haven't been buying a lot of books in the last year or so, I still feel like I've acquired books and there are books on my shelf that hopefully you guys haven't seen before. So I asked on Twitter the other night for some coordinates and I got a lot of responses and I decided just to try to quickly go over all the books that I picked out because I wanted to be sure to get everybody's picks. And I'll leave all the names below. I just want to say thank you because I was about to like ask my boyfriend and it would have been fine but not as, not as fun. So thanks to everybody who gave me those numbers. The first book that I got off of my shelf was 2AM at the Cat's Pajamas by Marie Helene Bertino. I absolutely adore this book. It is such a cute, magical realism read, and it's about a young woman who uh, kind of has a tragic family story and is just trying to figure out where she's at and what she's doing, and she loves to sing, but weird things happen when she sings. What happens next? So it's kind of weird, and I, I think I remember hearing some complaints about this, but she's like really young and kind of acts like a grown-up, which is a little bit disturbing, so if that's not something you're into, probably don't read this. This book was recommended to me by Amanda Eggle. She was on The Marvelous Reading Room, which is kind of on hiatus right now, but she also has her own channel where she talks about comics. She is wonderful, so please check her out. The next book on my shelf was Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen, and I thought this was really great because I really wanted to read this for Victober. And I also wanted to read The Mysteries of Udolpho, which if you haven't read Northanger Abbey, is something that the main character reads and that kind of fuels her um, crazy uh, dreams that she thinks are becoming a reality. Unfortunately, I am reading so many books right now and I have so much to read, like I really don't know <laughs> if I'm gonna get to this in October, but it's definitely something I want to reread soon. If you don't know or haven't read Northanger or Abbey, it's about a young woman named Catherine who goes on a little trip with her family friends to Bath to spend some time and do social things like they did back then, and she ends up meeting this guy and she goes to his home, with his, which is Northanger Abbey, and she thinks it's haunted, and she makes up all these stories, and there's drama. I got this beautiful copy of Northanger Abbey from my friend Heather, who used to book too, but doesn't anymore, and she's so good to me. She buys me the prettiest books, so um, I will definitely love this forever, and maybe never actually read out of it, because I hear they don't wear well, so. The next book on my shelf, uh, was Tales of the City by Armistead Maupin. I um, read this book partially because it's a book and a TV series that my dad really loves, and it's set in San Francisco where I used to live in the 70s, I believe. Um, and it's the story of this young woman who leaves her home in the Midwest and moves to San Francisco. She finds this place to live, and it's kind of a weird place, and the landlord is an interesting sort of mysterious person and it tells the story of a lot of different people in San Francisco very interesting very dated so fun to read something from that time period because I just don't usually do that and I really enjoyed it and it was great to read something that I know my dad loves I haven't read any more in this series but I'm definitely looking forward to doing that someday soon the next book on my shelf is Stardust by Neil Gaiman I find it really difficult to talk about Neil Gaiman because people are really polarized about his books I love Stardust, the book. I enjoy the cheesy movie just for fun, uh, but I know that there are people who absolutely hate the book, and I definitely think that's the case with a lot of his books. Like, I didn't love American Gods, but people that I read it with were like crazy for it. But I think Stardust is a really fun kind of, you know, it's the hero's journey, and I love the idea of kind of a magical world within our world. That's always fun which is in this book. So this is a lot of fun, but you might not like it. I don't know. People just don't like it. <laughs> Let me know in the comments how you feel about Stardust. I would love to talk about it. The next book on my shelf was like the last book on my last shelf of read books, and it is the French version of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I took French all through high school and all through college, and I stupidly thought in my third year of college French that I could read Harry Potter. I was wrong. It's very difficult. I did read the first chapter, but I had to use a dictionary. It took a very long time. I really enjoy owning it. I love French, and there's always that chance that maybe someday I will get back into it and 
learn enough to be able to read this book. If not, that's okay too. It's a fun book to own. You know? The next two books are off of my unread shelf, which I included because I have some books on there that I've never talked about before. This one is N.W. by Zadie Smith. Um, I think it takes place in London and is about like a, like four people in London and their lives in the city. Um, I read White Teeth by Zadie Smith a long time ago in school and I really liked it. It was slow to get through but I remember really enjoying it. I think this will be great and I would love to read it and then I would also love to read her new book coming out. Uh, which is swing time. And the last book from my unread shelf is coincidentally Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, which Max at Well Done Books is doing a read-along for right now. And I did plan to join uh, in and read with him, but no, I don't think that's going to happen right now. Um, I'm still hoping to read it while he's doing this read-along because he has some like forums up on Goodreads that will be open the whole time. So if you are interested in reading this, I will link uh, his video and the Goodreads group below because Max is great and you should get involved with his stuff because he's awesome. Um, my friend Heather that I mentioned earlier really loved Purple Hibiscus and I really loved um, Americana. I think this is going to be a really good read and I'm very much looking forward to reading more DGA. So anyway, those are some books on my shelf. I hope that you enjoyed this. Let's talk below about these books. If you have any recommendations based off of them or if you have any thoughts about them, I would love to hear them. Um, I hope to do another one in a couple of months because I used to kind of do it every couple of months and then I stopped doing these videos. I don't know why. I I really don't because I love it. It's very fun to just pull books and talk about them. <laughs> so um, if you want to leave me some chords for next time, go ahead. I have four shelves and there are about 30 to 40 books on each shelf, um, but I would err closer to 30. That might be safer. And I guess that's it. I will see you guys next time. Bye!